So I have seen a lot of speculations and analysis of the new Harbingers, but I actually haven't seen anyone try and guess their possible elements or weapons. But fear not, in this video, I will be guessing all the Harbingers elements and their weapons. But yeah, everything on this video is completely based on my opinion, and your opinion may differ from mine. So yeah, before starting off this video, I want you guys to like this video and subscribe this channel. And yeah, now let's start. At number one, Dottore. So my guess is that the Doctor Dottore has a dendrovision. While not all scholarly characters have a dendrovision like Albedo, Lisa, or Shengchu, Dottore is heavily associated with Sumeru itself, having attended the Academia at some point in the past, and his overall goal seems to be the pursuit of dark knowledge. If I talk about his delusion, so in my opinion, I believe that Dottore is in possession of a pyro delusion. In the recent story, interlude, towards the end, we can see Dottore burning down a giant tree. This is likely symbolic as fire is associated with destruction and Kali is dreaming when she sees Dottore and the tree but he also could just have a pyro delusion and if I talk about his weapon then he may be a catalyst user the harbingers are ranked on strength and while we don't know this definite number he is definitely stronger than Tataglia based on how he looks and carries himself I doubt his strength is martial but rather magical number two Capitano so here's where things largely become entirely speculation or just things I feel work. My guess for Capitano's vision and delusion are entirely interchangeable and my guess is that Capitano has a hydro vision. In his brief dialogue he places heavy emphasis on honor and his general aesthetics is just like a knight. I personally associate knights with medieval France so in this case it can be Fontaine. And if I talk about his delusion then Capitano has a pyro delusion. This is complete and pure guesswork although you could make an argument that instead of Fontaine Capitano is from Natlan. While he does place an emphasis on honor, it might be in a relation to battle and war rather than justice. So yeah, it can be possible either way. And if I talk about his weapon, so I would say Claymore. The character of Capitano is normally depicted with a sword, but Capitano in game is a rather large dude. So I would give him a rather large sword. At number 3, Columbina. The only thing we see Columbina do is sing. Genshin tends to associate music with wind. So I spend speculate that Columbina has an animal vision. The name Columbina means little dove and birds are also associated with winds. I would also like to point out that her headpiece is designed after wings. So yeah, it could really mean that she has an animal vision. If I talk about her delusion, so my guess is she could have a cryo delusion. I just get a funeral singer vibes from her, probably because it's the only thing we have seen her do. Death and cold are linked in a lot of literature as well as cultures. So yeah, I think she has a cryo delusion. And if I talk about her weapon, so Columbina doesn't seem like much of a physical fighter. So I'd guess her weapon type would be either bow or catalyst. Number 4, Pantalon. So I like many others am convinced Pantalon doesn't have a vision. The moment of session from the pale flame set says he was not one of the favored and could only pursue worldly power. The favored in this context are likely vision wielders and therefore Pantalon has no vision. If I talk about delusion, so he has likely a geo delusion. In moment of session, he specifically talks about Leoe during the fourth paragraph and Mora is linked to the Geonosis. He is a banker and economist after all. And if I talk about his weapon, so I honestly have no clue as to what weapon Pantalon could wield. The ninth Harbinger doesn't seem like the type to get his hands dirty based on his archetype and smug snake attitude. I attempted to say bow or catalyst again, but there's also the unknown weapon type last year that could be a possibility number five Sandron. so I'm going to say cryo on this one she or her puppet body has lots of white and some silver she also has her rune friend rune enemies are known for dealing physical damage the perpetual mechanical array is basically a physical hypothesis and the physical damage towers in theater mechanicals can fire chaos clusters much like the PMA during the thunder sojourn event making her cryo would fulfills one half to the super conduct equation that makes physical so good. If I talk about her delusion, so I basically chose her vision based on the idea that her wound dude would be dealing physical damage, so my assumption is that her delusion is electro. It could also play into her lore, ruined guards are literally robots, and while they don't seem to be powered by electro, robots in most fictions are. Electro would also just look real good with purple red accents her and her robot have. If I talk about her weapon, so I have once again got 
not to say catless, Sandrone seems really frail. She is literally being carried out by one of her puppets. So yeah, she can be a catalyst user. At number 6, Arcalino. So I would say she has a pyro vision. She got lots of red in her color scheme and the orphanage she runs is called the house of heart. I'm completely rich but I don't have any better guess. If I talk about her delusion, so reaching once again but my only guess is cryo. Her color scheme has a blend of black and white and while no element is solely linked to the color black, you do see a lot of white on cryo characters. And if I talk about her weapon, so this is the only thing I feel confident about Arlequino. I believe that she will be a sword wielder. She feels very noble and swords are more traditionally elegant weapon when compared to claymores or pole arms. Number 7 Pulchenella. I find Genshin Danny DeVito to be a weird place for me. So my immediate assumption is that he's cryo. Based on the Tevat travel trailer but he's also the only one in the shadow and with minions. But still I'm going to assume he has a cryo vision. If I talk about his delusion, so under the assumptions that all the Harbangers have different combination of vision and delusion, the only option left that makes sense to me is Hydro. While yes, he could also possess a Geo delusion but my guess is an Hydro delusion. And if I talk about his weapon, so I very badly want Punchinella to be a polearm. Do I just want to see an old man do cool polearm tricks like Tama or Zongli? Yes, I do. And finally Pario. I actually don't think Pario has a vision, a primary element most certainly but not a vision. I believe he likely has whatever Dancelift has, whether that can be a Chrono, Shesha, Abyss, Spatio or whatever it ends up being. And if I talk about his delusion, so if he does have a delusion, I can imagine it being Cryo, simply due to how close he is personally to the Savatsa as the first Fatui. And if I talk about his weapon, so taking a complete shot in the dark and saying he is going to be a Claymore. Following my Capitana logic, big dudes gets big swords. So yeah guys, I have not taken Signora, Child or Scaramouch, cause we already know a lot about them. So yeah, what do you guys think? Is my list correct? Comment down below and also give me your opinions on which Harbinger you are more excited for. And now, thanks for watching.